A photographer is currently in a legal battle with the D'Amelio family after he revealed online that the family used his work without any payment or approval. I'm going to give you all the details in this video. I'm Mackenzie Smith and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. As I'm sure you all know, Charlie D'Amelio is one of the biggest influencers in the world right now, boasting over 120 million followers on TikTok as well as over 40 million on Instagram. One of the many products that she has created to sell to her fans is a book that was released in 2020 called Essentially Charlie, The Ultimate Guide to Keeping It Real. Not much was said about the book until recently when a photographer that took some of the images that were used in the book, named Jake Doolittle, exposed the family for stealing his work. The story starts way back when Charlie had only 1 to 2 million followers on TikTok. Jake wanted to do a shoot with Charlie, so he agreed to shoot photos of her dancing in exchange for promotion on her Instagram. But he made sure to include in his terms that he must be notified if the photos were sold in the future so he could be compensated for them. He actually had such a good relationship with the family that he started working for them on a contract basis, taking tons of photos of Charlie and the family. But over time, the family decided they no longer wanted to work with him, so they respectfully parted ways. That was until Jake realized that Charlie had released a book and used his photos in that book. At first, he was flattered to be in a book, and his photos were credited at the back. However, he then realized her team broke his agreement and they did not get his approval to use his work, therefore they didn't give him an opportunity to be paid. This is when he started to bring attention to this on social media, and he started tweeting at the family saying that they made millions off of his photos. This started to gain traction in the media, which got the attention of the D'Amelio family's legal team. Because of what he posted online, their lawyers contacted him, telling him to delete the tweets that he made about the situation. He said in a video about the situation, quote, I got a call from someone at the D'Amelio team asking me to delete all the posts, scaring me into not making a video saying more about it, and threatening to get lawyers involved if I keep spreading what they deem as false information. He said that he ended up deleting everything because he was scared, but he should have known it would make people doubt his story. Because of all this, he was branded a clout chaser who was just hoping to gain clout off the family's name. After all the negative media attention had the potential to ruin his business, he decided to make a video telling the whole story so people would understand he just wants to be paid what he is owed. The video titled Charlie D'Amelio's Team Won't Pay Me For My Work was uploaded on September 2nd. And in the video, he wanted to make clear that his issue is not with Charlie or her family, but rather the team of people behind them that are negotiating contracts and making deals. He said in the video, quote, It felt amazing to have my work wanted, but it's frustrating to be so small that I have no power to get paid for it. Adding, quote, It makes me think I can't be the only person that has this happen to. He didn't really add much to a conclusion in his video of what he wants to happen next, but I assume he just wants to be paid for his work, then all of this will be over. But it seems that instead of paying him, the team would rather pay lawyers to silence him. Jake says that since this incident gained traction, he has now gained representation, so hopefully he came out of the situation better than before. Guys, please let me your thoughts on this one below. I'd especially love to hear your thoughts if you are a photographer or kind of something like that that's done freelance work and has had issues with your material being used without your knowledge. Yeah, because I don't really do work like that, so I can't really relate, but I can imagine this happens quite a lot. A lot of people in the comments of his video were saying that it's very commonplace for companies to use younger, more experienced uh, photographers so they can use their work for very, very cheap, sometimes not even pay them, and just kind of, I guess, make their bottom line even bigger. It's crazy. But again, leave your thoughts below and make sure to like and sub to the channel if you're new here and want to see more. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.